Today I'm going to teach you how to make an FPS game with Alpha Engine. It looks great, it feels great, it's being updated and it is great against exploiters as it is unable to be cracked. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how to use it. So first things first, what you want to do is head over to their Discord server. Uh, link will that be down below and you want to go to the important links area. Uh, you want to go to this thing which is the whitelist group. Uh, you're going to have to be inside this group here and get the standard or the premium plugin. Now, this depends on the version of the game you have. There's a premium version and there is a paid version. The paid version is updated. Uh, it's got better sound. It's got better recoil. You can, you know, crouch, loads of different things. Standard version, you know, it sounds pretty bad. It, it's got the recoil a bit weird. But yeah, um, you pretty much want to make sure you have one of these installed. And it's only 5,000 Robux, so it's pretty much worth it. Okay, when we're here in Studio, you want to head over to your plugins tab. And there is the, where is it? Here it is alpha engine plugin you want to press toggle there's this little button here pressing install you just want to press that and what you'll see is you'll see this little uh, gui appear down here and you'll get all these different objects appearing in your um in your different folders so when you test the game when you play the game this nothing will happen because well there's nothing to do yet because you haven't set anything up but yeah it works with r15 or r6 doesn't really matter you want to head to your game settings go to security and make sure HTTP requests are on. Um, this will allow it to connect to remote servers and verify you're in the group ready to use. So um, yeah, starting off, you won't really get anything. You wanna head into your folder here to access it. And there's a starter pack. Now there's these three different things. So config here. This here is where you can configure the guns. You wanna drag this into the config mods the model into the actual models and then the tool itself will go to starter pack wherever you want it really so yeah if you press play i'm going to show you exactly what happens you'll get access to the gun system it should work perfectly fine here we go we're in here and we can equip our weapon and as you see we have an m4a1 you know you can zoom in you can fire you can shoot these guys you've got hit markers um you can hear it sounds a bit suspicious because it's the free version um yeah so here you go this is the uh this is the version and this is the gun kit if you just want to use this you can i guess it works perfectly fine you can think i think it's control yes yeah, this is the box and control z and you go third person which is really quite cool i think you can go you know third person mode by default it does like 100 damage to the head because i think it's mainly for like military simulators so if you want a competitive shooter you might want to change that but yeah as you see everything is functioning quite quite well i mean my head's leaning a bit forward but i think it's just my animation so yeah this is the alpha engine itself as you see, it's working excellently. Okay, to customize the weapons, you would like to head onto your config mod files, and this will come with all of these different options. Now, animations are used with C frames, so instead of using the traditional animation editor, which you might find in the FE gun kit or something, uh, you can use C frames, and it puts in a 3D grid. Like as you can see here, it uh, puts your objects in a 3D grid, and then will move accordingly. So as you see, it's different positions. Um, if you go down, I think it goes to the first person one. Here it is. Like, all these different things here. They're, they're very customizable. They use them in fan forces as well. There's different, these different like animations, you know, just in and out. All these different kind of easing styles. You can do elastic, you can make it so it bounces. Um, pretty much how you animate a part, it's animated in that same way. Um, you can edit recoil, shot spread, automatic select fire, round type, ammo store down, pretty much everything you can think of. Um, in the tool there's not really anything, there's this authorization file, server script service again, uh, you don't really have to open this because as you see the code here is hidden, so any potential exploiters will just get met with this and there's no chance of you accessing that, so that's perfect. You want to change any of the effects here, we have all the sounds, so you can just change these IDs depending on whatever you want to change it to, um, here we have all the different um, particles you can change, attachments here, attachments haven't been fully worked on yet, um, you can't really use those. But um, here are some other things. So we have the AE door and the door. You can shoot the door handle and it will open up. I don't know where it's gone. Here it is. It's over here. So I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But if you shoot the door handle here, the door can like bust open or something. And then in here we have all these free tools. So airdrop flares. We have um, ammo bags, normal flares, which is pretty cool stuff. And a zip tie. I mean, I don't know if you want to have kind of the military simulator. I'm not really into that kind of stuff. But if you want to, you can like tie people up and arrest them and stuff. I don't really know. And this is the configuration which works for everything, not just the gun. So, for example, fake arms enabled. If you have in accessories arms here, um, these custom arms, you can make sure they have different like colors or different clothing on. Make sure that's true. All these different things, breaking glass, lights out, anti uh, what's it called, anti-team kill, damage blur, um, all these different things, are options, anti-b-hob, ammo supply, etc, etc, etc. These all things 
add and work for the whole game now if you're wondering how to get different weapons the easiest way to do this is by using conversions now this is the amazing thing the alpha engine provides is free conversions if you had a conversions here as you see you have these hundreds of different weapons that the community has kindly converted let for example let me find a really nice one we could use today let's go ahead see this looks really cool i think um if you press on this download button it will download the file here and we'll get this and if we head into our studio and we drag and drop this in there we go it's dragged it in you can now use this just like you use your other one so you drag that into there model goes into the mods where is it the uh, models and then the tool again goes into there and if we press play again we'll see our custom gun and here it is our custom weapon as you see this one looks much better than our previous one um, it's got much better effects I think it's a better model the animations are a bit nicer um, as you see oh let me demonstrate this gun as you see if you shoot this kind of handle it makes a little noise and you can kind of walk through it you can also interact with the door if you're like from different sides and yeah this is um so yeah this is a really cool custom gun made by the community and there's hundreds of these made available which is absolutely fantastic now you can convert your guns yourself and if you want to do that there is a tutorial made by the actual developer of the game if you go to tutorials here he, they have a tutorial on how to convert it's actually really easy um i've converted a few weapons i'm not going to show you how to do it in this video because it takes a bit of time but uh pretty much you need to make sure that certain things like aim parts and laser nodes laser light part uh projector sites all these different certain things like this mag you need to make sure that these all work with um with the system and you need to make a configuration file for it and stuff but it's really quite simple and I'm sure you can easily pick it up. Okay, so this is a quick demo of how the airdrop flare works. As you see, you can place the airdrop flare down. You can also do a normal flare if you want to. And I'm also going to show you the ammo bag. As you can see, if you run out of a mag here, I'm just going to fire into distance. Okay, there we go. And I press resupply. It will resupply and give me extra mags, which is quite cool. As we see over here, as that's working, there's the airdrop coming down. It'll take a bit of time. It won't land exactly on the place. It'll land a bit close. It's much more realistic, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure, which I don't really play in many games. But yeah, as you see, we can just press hold F and we resupply. And as you see, it adds mag so yeah this is like a huge drop and your whole team can use and whatever so yeah there is the extra features so yeah today was a short one so thank you very much for watching i'm working on a longer video so make sure you look out for that and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video goodbye